now. So say for example, we have a vector right here. We call it your vector A. And there's another vector right here. And we call it your vector B. How are we going to find for the resultant vector? Now, there is a method called your parallelogram method. Wherein in this method, we are going to find saan ba yung resultant vector. So yung gagawin natin, we're going to draw a line parallel to the vector B right here. And again, we're going to draw a vector parallel to vector A right here. So, resultant vector can be found from the point kung saan tayo nagsimula. So, since um, dito tayo nagsimula in this portion, okay, and i-coconnect natin siya sa portion wherein yung dalawang arrows ay nag-meet. So, right here. So, if we're going to write that, so this is, oops, oops, This is your resultant vector R. Let's have another example. Say for example, we have again uh, another vector. Oh. In this direction, and we call it your vector A. And then Say, for example, meron tayong mm, another vector in this direction and we call it your vector B. Now, asan yung resultant vector? You can pause this video while thinking. Okay, so let's give it a shot. So, using the parallelogram method, gagawa tayo ngayon ng line parallel to vector B assuming that these lines are you know assuming that these lines are straight kasi ang hirap mag drawing po ng straight dito okay, parallel. and we have a vector parallel to A so where is the resultant vector as we have said a while ago dapat nang we're going to pinpoint the starting point kung saan tayo nagsimula and kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang arrows <laughs> right here okay so this is your resultant vector R now resultant vectors the sum of two or more vectors. Now, it is usually represented by R, by C, or R na may arrow sa itaas, or C na may arrow sa itaas. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.